Hello and welcome to the Edexcel New Style GCSEs. These are the ones that go from grades 9 through to grade 1. This is paper 1MA1 slash 1H. It's the first paper in the higher tier. It's a non-calculator paper and we're picking up in question 5. In a company, the ratio of the number of men to the number of women is 3 to 2. 40% of the men are under the age of 25. 10% of the women are under the age of 25. What percentage of all the people in the company are under the age of 25? Okay, so the temptation, I know, is to add 40% to 10% and say 50%, but that's wrong because the ratio of the number of men to the number of women is 3 to 2, so there's not an even distribution of men and women. So what we need to do is find out what percentage of the entire workforce are under 25 males and what percentage of the entire workforce are under 25 females and then we can add those two percentages together. So for the under 25 males the first thing we need to know is what percentage of the entire workforce are men. So the ratio of men to women is 3 to 2 that means three-fifths of the entire workforce are men. That's arrived at by adding 3 to 2 to get the denominator so there's 3 out of a total of 3 plus 2 is 3 out of 5. So there's 3 fifths of the workforce are male. And that's equal to, if we times top and bottom by 2, we get 6 tenths. And then if we times top and bottom by 10, we get 60 out of 100, which is the textbook definition of 60%, because the word percent means out of 100. So that is equal to 60%. So 60% of the entire workforce are male. And we know that 40% of the men are under the age of 25. So that means 40% of 60% are under 25 males. So that's 60%. And we translate of to mean multiplied by. So 60% times 40% is equal to 60 out of 100 times 40 out of 100 is equal to, and we can cancel that zeros, and we can cancel these zeros, so we've actually got 6 times 4 out of 10 times 10. 6 times 4 is 24. Out of 10 times 10 is 100. And again, out of 100, that's our textbook definition of percent. So we know that 24% of the entire workforce are under 25 males. Now... We can do the same thing to get the females, or the under 25 females, um, or we can say 60% of the workforce are male, therefore 100% minus 60% is 40%. The other way we could have arrived is to use the ratio. Two-fifths of the workforce are female, and two-fifths is the same as four-tenths, which is the same as 40%. Either way, you get 40% of the entire workforce are female and we want to know what percentage of that those females are under 25 and so that's 10% of 40% and an easy way to do that is to say well 10% is 1 tenth and 1 tenth of 40 is 4 another way we could do it is the same as we've done with the males is to say that's equal to 40 over 100 times 10 over 100 and if we remember when we're multiplying fractions we're multiplying the numerators and we're multiplying the denominators but first we can cancel this down to simplify it a little bit so we've got 4 over 10 times 10 over 10 which is equal to sorry yes that's right no times 1 over 10 so that's 4 times 1 is equal to 4 that's because I wasn't very clear about the way I cancelled out that zero. So that's 10 times 10 is 100. So we've got 4 over 100, which is equal to 
so 4% of the entire workforce are under 25 female. Adding the two together, 24 plus 4 is 28% of all of the workforce are under 25. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.